Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sibeli and today I'll be presenting Genomes on a Tree or GOAT database uh, that has been developed in the Sanger Institute within the Tree of Life program. So the Earth Biogenome Project is a global initiative to sequence all eukaryotic life on Earth. It serves as an umbrella for a large number of sequencing projects distributed across the globe and it will generate genome assemblies at a scale never witnessed before. One of the main challenges focused by this network is coordination of efforts, especially without a centralized source of information on two broad categories of data. First, um, although we have a lot of information on sequencing projects that have been completed, uh, information on status and list of sequencing projects that are still in the planning or in the progress stages is not easily uh, findable. Uh, and second, um, also for genome relevant metadata, such as chromosome number, ploid, genome size estimates for the species targeted for sequencing, which are usually scattered in the literature, but would benefit from being collated into a single location to help guiding uh, the planning and validation for these projects. To address these issues, the Tree of Life program developed Genomes on a Tree, or GOAT, which is a taxon-focused searchable database for metadata that was prepared to support uh, the scale of these global initiatives. GOAT's main purpose is to store and present data to optimize the use of biological resources and promote a better synergy between sequencing projects globally. Three main features makes GOAT a very powerful resource as resources a database. Uh, first, it stores genome-relevant metadata uh, that can be searched. Uh, second, the information is stored in a phylogenetic cont context. And based on the stored information, it can handle missing values and create estimates in a biologically uh, meaningful way. There are many forms that queries are made on GOAT. The most straightforward is to search for attributes of a given taxon using taxon names, such as here for the red fox, Fulpies, Fulpies. The results shown here uh, is an example of a subset of values for the list of over 40 attributes stored on GOAT for the species. So here I give example of ID, uh, assembly, chromosome, and genome size uh, related attributes. But keep in mind that virtually any metadata, such as legislation, threatened status, organelle assembly, summary statistics, can all be stored and displayed in gold. An important aspect of the database is that gold stores the metadata information in a phylogenetic context. So there are values and estimates for all attributes at all taxonomic ranks. For example, we can search uh, on GOAT assembly span values for species in the family candidate that will be displayed here for species. But GOAT will also estimate values for genera, genera, and also for the family. And if you notice to the right side, uh, the values for the selected attributes are displayed beside a color tag, a bar, that informs if the value is a direct measurement of the taxon displayed in green or an estimate based on phylogenetically guided interpolation of values, either in red or orange, also uh, filled or not filled bars. And this is how GOAT works. So based on direct measurements in green, the values of attributes are filled up and down the tree. And for example, a value measured for a species can be estimated for the genus, but then used again to estimate the value, missing value for a species that won't have the value for the attribute. And uh, these values are estimated using metrics that are appropriate for that attribute. Uh, for many projects, for instance, estimating genome size of target species is crucial to plan the use of laboratory resources. So that will prevent uh, under sequencing or uh, over sequencing of samples. The metadata stored in gold can be useful not only in estimation, but also valid in validation of chromosomal level assemblies. So in the case of species where chromosomal data is already available, such as in the four species here of foxes, uh, those values can be directly checked just to confirm the chromosomal level assembly. But for the species where no caretypic values are available, uh, range and estimates of these values can help curator make informed decisions to deliver a final chromosomal level assembly. 
It is important to emphasize that the attributes uh, in votes can be queried individually, but also in combination. Uh, that thresholds can be defined in the search for these attributes. And uh, in that way, uh, the results can be visualized both on the tree themselves, but also um, in, in plots and reports, such as the one displayed here to the left side, that is showing pretty much the available assemblies meeting the metrics defined by the Earth Biogenome Project based on the Contig N50 and scaffold N50 for the assemblies. Um, one thing that I have to mention is that these complex query result, uh, queries result from the design of code architecture and the, how the data is treated to maximize efficiency in the retrieval of information. Uh, I'm not getting into detail on the implementation of code architecture today because of time, but if you have interest in the topics, the publication and documentation are on the way, but meanwhile, you can always contact us at road uh, at genomepubs.org. But pretty much uh, as a summary, GOAT has been structured into three uh, main components. Uh, backend has both command line and uh, public API interface that can be used to retrieve GOAT data directly. Uh, whereas the web uh, user interface uh, is where queries can be made using the search boxes and the uh, options uh, by the, the user and also to create reports. Uh, just to summarize, GOAT uses uh, retrieve data and use pairs of uh, the tabular format of the data plus a corresponding YAML file to generate uh, there is input into Elasticsearch. So, um, yeah, Go uses a, a Elasticsearch index as the primary data store, which allows efficient searches across all data in GOAT. Well, uh, GOAT was also designed to collate updates on target species and priority lists alongside sequencing status so that different projects can plan and inform their sequencing strategies accordingly. So it is possible to create lists such as this one and download them per project, such as here for the Darwin Tree of Life that shows not only the, the, the target species, but also those that have a priority for the project right now. Visualization of overlap between projects is also possible. So in this case, for instance, uh, we found three species that are in the long list, so targeted by the Catalan Biogenome Project, but they are also family representatives within the Darwin Tree of Life program, for instance. Uh, and queries like this will be very important to inform big consortia, but also the smaller labs and local projects globally. And this type of search ensures that there is synergy between projects across the globe. Uh, finally, we are adding to GOAT uh, the project summary pages, uh, which each project can display information and customize graphs and reports as they choose. So there are many options of customizable uh, plots from simple species counts and pie charts as displayed here, uh, the number of uh, chromosomal level assemblies that Darwin Tree of Life has contributed among all chromosomal level assemblies uh, available in CBI. Uh, also rainbow plots showing progress in the number of available genomes per taxonomic rank. So for species, genus, family, and so on overall and per project, to even more complex plots showing correlations and uh, also frequency distributions over time, as shown here for the Earth Biogenome projects, which is the assembly contiguity stats, but also the progress of sequencing of eukaryotic species by the project over time. Uh, this is who we are. Uh, GOAT was designed uh, by Envision by Professor Mark Blackster at the Sanger Institute and has been developed by Rich and Sujay. Uh, and I am their uh, genomic data curator and helping out um, and curating some of the stuff. The current status of GOAT is that we have a lot of taxa already there. 
I forgot to mention, but we use both. We can choose which backbone taxonomy to use. Right now, we are including only uh, NCBI uh, taxonomy, but also Open Tree of Life. Uh, but more will be included in the future. Uh, the back end is pretty much fully functional. Uh, and we are now working on how to make the user interface a bit more user friendly. Uh, Go is searchable already now. It can be used right now. It has weekly updates, but we are still populating the database with priority lists, the sequencing statuses, uh, and we are always looking for new data sources. So if you have uh, interest or if you think of anything that would benefit from being GOAT, don't hesitate and contact us and help us feed the GOAT. And with that, I'll take any questions if you have them. Thank you.